Hey guys, it's the Lord's Gift and welcome to my basic MOBA tutorial video. Now if you are new to MOBAs and don't know exactly what it is, a MOBA is a 5 vs 5 multiplayer online battle arena where each team competes against one another to destroy each other's main core. Now on the main battlefield there are three lanes with three towers protecting the main core on each side. Each team gets three to five minion waves depending on the game that helps you gain gold, take towers, fight enemies and fight enemy minion waves. Each team also gets a jungle on their side to help the jungler gain more gold faster, level up faster, and also set up ganks to help your team get an early start. All right, the number one thing you need to know is characters and the roles that they play. Marksmen are ADCs. They're the main physical damage output. Mages are main magical damage output. Warriors are mid damage output, mid defense. Tanks are the main defense of your team. Assassins are the main source of cleanup and ability damage. Now, marksmen usually do not go alone. They go with the tanks, so that way the tanks can provide defense for them while they put out basic physical damage. That means regular attack damage, okay? Mages are high on magical damage, magical ability damage, all right? They usually go mid lane. Warriors usually go solo lane by themselves. They're not too tanky, but don't hit too hard. They're in the middle. They have a well-rounded amount of damage and a well-rounded amount of defense. Assassins are cleanup. They are to kill the mage and ADC or anyone with low health at the time. Now, clearing lanes and rotating. Clearing lanes is so important, okay? So that way that can set you up for a perfect rotation. As you can see here, I'm rotating properly, but before I rotated, I cleared my lane. That gave my minion wave a chance to push in and attack the tower, which is the most important thing. Towers are always first. This is not Call of Duty. It's all about towers and killing the main core. Now, as I rotated down there, I was able to get a kill. I was able to secure a kill for my team. But I went right back, cleared my lane, and went right back to rotating. Okay? Just remember this. Towers are the most important things, guys. Now, this is the difference between good rotating and good communication opposed to someone who does not rotate well and you'll see that momentarily now you see I rotated down we had a proper kill a proper setup it is just me and one other person going against multiple people we are really we are outmatched at the moment but we are still doing damage okay that's the difference between rotating and not rotating now this this is not rotating do you see the person mid lane if you look on the map the mid laner did not rotate. I had to ping him because he was not doing what he was supposed to do. Now, of course, this is going to get people tilted, going to get people mad when you don't rotate and you don't communicate and you don't you don't talk with your team properly. OK, now I do want to give this input. This is for every MOBA, guys. As you can see, I'm playing two different MOBAs. I'm playing a mobile one called Arena of Valor. That was the one that you saw beforehand. And this one right here is me on stream uh, on Twitch where I'm playing Smite. Okay. So it this this revolves around all MOBAs. It's the same exact things. And we'll be getting to communication momentarily because that's very, very, very important, guys. If you can't communicate with your team by simply, even if you don't have a microphone, you don't necessarily need one. They have built in commands that help you to communicate with your team. That's literally a huge impact on what you need to do to ensure that your team is successful. Now, this is this is a great example right here of communication. I let them know I was alting. We went in. He got a kill. My, my uh, teammates right there are trying to jump in and get get this ADC. Boom. I got a kill. We were in and out just by simple communications, guys. It's, it's very smooth, very fun when you can play with a team that knows exactly what they're doing. Communication is number one, the most important thing out of any MOBA. 
All right, guys, always remember that. Please always remember that and use distractions. This is a good one, too. As you can see, I went in all crazy, but my team came in and backed me up. That's another thing you got to you got to remember. You got to get in there. Never, never not join a team fight. You could be the difference in winning or losing a team fight. OK, um, you you definitely don't want to be the one missing. That can get you cussed at, reported anything. You know, it, it, it definitely can. Like, for instance, take this, for instance, if I would have left this team fight, this would have never happened. If he if I didn't trust that he could protect me and he didn't trust that I could deal the damage that I was supposed to deal to where we could win that two on two against the enemy, this would have never happened. I would have never sniped him down and we wouldn't have, we, we wouldn't be in a good predicament to be able to win this game. I kept tabs on the mage because I was assigned to him and he kept tabs on the solo laner who I just sniped down. That's what it means to be able to take care of and watch the person you were assigned to. If you're assigned to mid lane, you keep tabs on mid lane. That's that's literally that's your only job, because if you don't kind of like the mid laner that that we had when we died in that um, in that two on like four. This will happen. This right here, you will be defeated. You will lose. And then you're going to get reported like we all reported. Him. We I mean, he was the main reason that we lost. Now, of course, I don't really like reporting. I'm not really into that, but things like that happen. For instance, right here, this is what it means to have a good team. OK, now I did get caught out and that was my fault, but my team backed me up and surprisingly, I didn't die. And I'm and I'm playing mage. I'm playing mid lane, but my team backed me up, helped me out. We were able to take this core and get the victory. Now, guys, these are just small things just to get you started. If you want me to go more in depth, I definitely will. Please let me know what you thought of this video and what I can do to improve on it. And honestly, if you like it a lot, I can go more into detail on certain roles that you guys like because I play every role. And let me just say this as a PS. Please learn how to play at least two characters in every single role meaning you got to know how to play mage at least two mages two assassins two tanks two solo laners that will definitely be beneficial because as soon as you start getting good at the game you start wanting to go into ranked games just in case they get banned when you get into the higher ranks you want to be able to have multiple characters that you can use and not be a burden to your team. You got to remember that. Don't be a selfish player, guys. All right. And just let me know what you guys want to hear more on. OK, um, hit the like button, subscribe and share if you enjoyed the video. And as always, guys, stay blessed.